Welcome back everybody, Mudford here. Uh, today I'm starting work on my solar heater. Uh, I got these plans from um, Green Hill Enviro Technologies. I saw a video, they had a couple of videos actually on YouTube. This is a screen heater. Um, it uses twin wall polycarbonate. Uh, it has a whole parts list here. Low profile screen design, twin wall polycarbonate, insulation foam board, poly iso whatever that is. I know it's high temperature, foil sided. And that just very simple design. And it's got a little fan just to circulate the air. So I'm going to start working on it. The first thing we need to do. First thing is we need to cut an inch section off. We need to cut two of those. And then that'll leave us with a 46 inch wide sheet. And then we're gonna cut an inch off this way. Cut two of those for the top and bottom. It's gonna make a little box that's one inch deep. And that's gonna be the inside of our solar heater. Okay, for this first step, all you're going to need is just a few things. You're going to need your one inch thick four by eight sheet. You're going to need a knife to cut it. I found a knife works better for this kind of stuff rather than a razor blade. Use a chalk line and a tape measure. I'm going to mark over an inch, chalk it, then I'm also going to use some Gorilla Glue to glue the piece on. I know this isn't butter. Found these, the cardboard boxes don't last very long for these, they'll fall apart on you and you'll drop the screws everywhere. So I switch them and use these butter containers work really good because they're about the same size. So I'll use this to hold the panels together while the glue is setting. Okay, so I got the one inch pieces cut. I put some Gorilla Glue down on the edge. Now I'm gonna set the piece onto it. And then I'm gonna use some screws just to hold it in place. Okay, here's what it looks like with the one inch lip on. It's all glued down, screwed down. We're not quite done with this part yet though. Uh, I'm going to cut my notches. Uh, there's going to be notches in this. Five different ones for where the screen's going to set in here. Because the screen is going to get hot. Uh, that's how it's going to work. There's going to be a screen suspended halfway in between here. And the sun's going to shine through the twin wall polycarbonate and heat up the screen and then the air is going to blow across the screen and send heat out into your house. Okay, I've got all my notches cut in now for my wood is going to set that's going to hold my screens in. So now I just got to get some foil tape and cover up the end pieces and then I'll be ready to put the treated wood frame around it. Okay, here it is all foil taped up. Uh, it just looks a little prettier now is all. You can see the notches where the um, thin boards are going to go holding the screen. So they're a little more sturdy now because there's foil over the foam again like, like down here. And then we're going to paint this. i got to clean it up a little. It's pretty dirty. Clean it up. Uh, wipe it down probably with a damp paper towel. Let it dry. Go ahead and uh, paint it flat black. Okay, here's what it looks like with the uh, treated frame around it. This is just uh, two by fours that are ripped down on a table saw down to one by twos. And then the, t the top part, you're gonna have it be the full width. And then the bottom of it will be uh, in between the side runners here. 
and I just got to trim these up just a little bit on the ends and I think we'll be set and it'll be time to uh, I'll tape it on the back side and I'm going to put my angle brackets in on all four corners then tape the back side and then we'll be ready to spray paint this black okay you can see I put the corner braces on you can see the one down there now we're just going to fit this insulation down back down in there and then we're going to flip it over and tape it on the back side okay so here's what it looks like all painted up you can see part of it's still wet the glossy part it's going to dry flat black um getting close Okay, this is the top end of the collector. So what I did was I measured the distance between the first, I'll show you here, the first two boards and split it in half and measured the distance across, which is 22. I think this is nine across here. And so four and a half and 22 with the dot there and this is a compass making a four inch circle for the pipe spun it around and now I got my mark where my pipe's going to come through so I'm going to cut that out and then use the foil tape and seal it up so all I'm doing is just taking a piece of this foil tape and overlapping it with the piece next to it and putting it through like that just like that and that's just to cover up this uh, just to cover up the bare foam here. Okay, be real careful, especially when you're putting your screen frame in because uh, you can see all of these spots with the silver tape on there represent a spot where I nicked the foil on the, uh, on the foam board. So just keep in mind it's gonna happen and then just patch them over with some tape and then we're going to go ahead and give it another quick paint job. Kind of touch it up. We're going to lay the screen in. And then we're going to spray the screen and the boards. Okay, so I got the screen kind of laid in place how it's going to be. It should be about right. And I got the holes pre-drilled. And actually drilled into the boards here. But I just want to let you know that it's not going to work perfect when you're dealing with boards that are this thin trying to put screws into them they're going to want to split so make sure you drill them out okay here's what it looks like all painted the screen's painted uh, it's still drying so some of it still looks a little glossy until it dries it should all dry the same flat black uh, i didn't screw these in yet just because they're going to have to come out for the install onto the wall of my house this is the way it's going to look. I'm going to put the um, seal on and I'm going to pre-drill my holes through the plexiglass. I'm going to lay it on and then it'll be all ready for when my fan kit comes. Okay, I got it all together for now, except for I shorted myself some of the sealer strip a few feet. Apparently I can't do math very good. So, I got it all screwed down with the screws ready until my fan gets here, so I'm just going to set this aside. I'll probably put this other piece in, probably spray paint this black because I didn't find the gasket I wanted in black. And then I left the protector plastic over the Lexan. I'm not going to take that off until, until it's in for the final time. And then what I'll probably do is put Gorilla Tape over the edges and put the uh, screws through the Gorilla Tape even. So just to make it sealed up as good as I can. So that's all for now. I'll update when I actually get the fans and do the installation. But that's it for building the solar heater. Here's a sneak peek at the next big project I've got going.
um, the good old generator interlock kit. Right now I just uh, back feed power through my welding outlet in my garage and turn off the main. But the smarter and legal way to do it is to put one of these uh, interlock switches in and have a dedicated breaker for the generator.